Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to another grocery haul and meal plan. Y'all, we are back <laughs> to a regular week. Um, we still kind of using what we have here, but we um, got extras and stuff I found on sale. So we try to keep within like $100 to $130 budget. So I spent $122.30 at Kroger. Um, I'm going to be honest, I could have went crazy because they had some really, really good deals this week. But like I said, we did get a couple extras, but we also stuck with our budget. So let me turn you around, share what we got, and let's go ahead and get started. Here is what we got y'all, the table is full. So we'll go ahead and start over here. We got our normal two things of L8. Got some Lipton green tea, and then I picked up some more of the grape flavored waters. We didn't have those last week, and honestly, we missed them as crazy as that sounds. Um, so we were excited to get those again. And then the Red Baron pizzas were on sale for three for 10 this week, and I had a dollar 10 off coupon. So that was a pretty good deal. So I went ahead and picked up three. There's one pepperoni, one cheese, and one triple meat, I think. So those will just get put in the freezer and we can use those for a quick and easy lunch or dinner whenever we need them. Got a loaf of bread. The good to know is our favorite. Got two things of 18 count eggs. Their eggs were on sale this week for 97 cents. So I went ahead and got two. Needed some more crackers. Um, these are just the off brand of the Ritz. I love the Kroger brand ones. I got me some chai tea. This is what they use at Starbucks for the iced chai tea latte. Um, and I love it. And it's been a while since I've had it. So I thought I would treat myself and have me some chai tea. Got this for free. And um, this week I had a coupon to get this for free. Luke's had it and he didn't care for it. But y'all know I couldn't pass that up. So he's just going to drink it. <laughs> it was free. So maybe it will taste better. Uh, this was on Markdown for $1.24. Uh, I'm not sure why there was a ton of them, um, but I went ahead and got one of these. Um, this would just be good to have if we need it or anything, whenever it's like whenever the time comes around and it's time for me to do another um, pancake freezer stock up, then I can definitely just do the whole box. So those will be yummy. Got some ricotta cheese, some sour cream. Our $5 stock up item this week was peanut butter. They had these for a dollar a jar, so I was super pumped about that. When I seen that on the Kroger ad, I was like, yep, that's going to be my stock up this week because, y'all, we go through peanut butter like no other. So I got two of the crunchy, and then I got three of the creamy, so I was super excited about that. Who knew you could get excited about peanut butter? But when it's a dollar a jar, this girl does right here. So got some light brown sugar. I pulled the one out of my stock room this past week. So like I said, I always try to keep, if I pull one, I buy one. So we bought one to put back in there. Winston got two Lunchables. He got a cheese pizza and the bologna. Got some little Smokies. I need those for an upcoming recipe video that y'all will see in the near future. Got some zucchini, squash, got some soft shell tortillas. Y'all already know that's a pantry staple around here. Got some bananas. I'll let Winston pick them out. They look a little rough, but honestly, this is the way he eats them, so it's fine. <laughs> got some more bacon. Got two things of the ground beef. It wasn't on sale. It was like eight something, I think, for three pounds. Um, and I think I had a dollar ten off one of these, so I don't think I had two. I only had off one, so that worked out, I guess. Got some honey. I got two things of creamy ranch dressing. For some reason, I thought I needed two. But then when I was coming and sitting everything out here, I was like, why did I buy two of those? I didn't need two. I needed that and one of these. So, oh, well, got two. I'll use them. I love ranch. Got some ketchup. I got some roasted garlic Alfredo sauce for a recipe. Got some garlic powder. Picked up the Kroger brand Rotel. I got some refried beans. So I have just found a new YouTube channel. Um, I think her name is Sammy. I'm sorry if I if you're watching this and I said that wrong. But her channel name is Managing the Maze. I'll have her channel listed down below. She's a new YouTuber. And she shared recently um, her refried bean recipe. 
And y'all, it looks so good. So it might not happen this week, but I wanted to go ahead and get the refried beans and have them here whenever I am able to add that into the meal plan. So y'all can check out, I'll have her channel in that video list down below so y'all can see it. Got some tomato sauce, got some black olives, two things of cream of the cheddar soup, two cans of cream of mushroom, two cans of cream of chicken. I pretty much cleaned out my stock that was in the stock room this past week when we did our slow spend month. Um, and so I definitely needed more. So I just got two of each. Got some Pam spray. I'm gonna be honest, I absolutely hate the Kroger brand spray. It sprays funny, it's awful, I hate it. So if I buy this at Kroger, I always buy the Pam, the Pam brand. But if I go to Walmart or somewhere else, I'll buy that other off brand. But if I'm at Kroger, I have to buy this one. Cause like I said, I hate the style of the spray for the Kroger brand. It's just awful. Got some potatoes, got some spinach. I got Winston, they didn't have his, uh, I didn't have the cookies and cream dairy free, but I found the lactose free chocolate. So we're gonna give this a try and see how that is on his tummy. Uh, need cheese. I got the Cheddar Jack, Monterey Jack, and mozzarella. I got some almond milk. Sorry y'all, the boys are playing in the background. Got some ranch dressing, some more taco seasoning. And then I picked up these um, cooling racks. I had been needing some, but I didn't want to pay full price because y'all know how I am. And so I looked up and found these for $3 and it says original price $7.99. So I was super excited about that. So here's everything. That's what we got for today. Like I said, $122 and some change. Let me get all this put up and I'll share the meal plan. Here is our meal plan for the week got some delicious meals planned so as you know we don't actually follow monday through sunday i just pick and choose what we want and I've, we've actually already had to um we've got some tomato sauce meatballs mashed potatoes and then i'm going to do this curd pot recipe that i found creamy fiesta chicken and we're going to do rice with that it looked so good on pinterest um sausage and potatoes this um ended up being a, a breakfast meal prep for luke instead of a a meal itself but that will be in Wednesday's video so y'all will see it um, tomorrow got chicken orzo spinach casserole that's from a cookbook y'all will see that Friday and then this one you'll also see Friday it is three cheese pasta bake and I'm gonna add some grilled chicken or baked chicken with that just so it kind of is an all-in-one meal um, and that is from a cookbook also so y'all will see that this coming Friday so and then we rolled this over from last week, but I made them last night and they were super delicious. Baked tacos and my salsa minute rice. So that's it y'all. That's what we got going on this week. Of course, you'll see what, what we eat um, throughout the week. Like I said, a lot of recipes are coming on Friday. And then of course, you'll see an overview of everything on Sunday in my what's for dinner. So I hope you guys enjoyed this grocery haul and meal plan, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye, guys.